What's up, everybody? My name is Lehua, and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host of podcasts across worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lehua Superfina. Today, we are reacting to the world's finest assassin, and if you like anime reactions, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, so you can be notified on the next upload. And if you'd like to support the channel, we got Patreon, channel membership, and merchandise. Link to those are below. We are reacting to the world's finest assassin, episode 7. Yeah. And we just got Maha in the last episode. This episode, we should see Luke in his new life, his uh, undercover life. I'm kind of excited for this one because it's going to introduce a product. Yeah, it's going to be uh, quite interesting. Okay, we can see that Luke is using his medical skills he called this guy brother so maybe this is his undercover family and he probably did surgery on this guy to make the family more indebted to him you know his whole manipulation thing Oh wait! This this guy. He knows he's from the Tuahade family. Wait, 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 wait. When I read the manga, if I'm remembering wrong, he didn't know that he was undercover. What? Officially my younger sister? Maha! Life of falsehood. Falsehood. Mm. Okay, maybe this works out for him with this guy knowing that he's undercover. Maybe this will make it easier for him. I could have sworn he didn't know. Like he truly thought that Luke was his illegitimate child. Maybe I'm wrong. Whatever. Oh, his merchant eyes judging him. Maybe he's unconsciously sensing that Luke has potential talent. Because he's got a lot. I mean, as an assassin, he was like a jack of all trades just for his mission. Is it cold in that area? Both of the girls are wearing turtlenecks. Stock merchandise targeted to nobles helps with the assassinations. Mm hmm. Well, primarily cosmetics and. He sells sweets. He can make cafe shops. For a 13 year old, he's pretty ripped. But he does look like he's 13, though. Hmm. But they don't look like they're 13.
abandoned by parents, lost parents. They occasionally seek human warmth. Is this like the whole tartan food? Is that what he's doing using the whole warmth to psychologically manipulate them? Pawns. He called them pawns. Oh look, a mask. Where have we seen that? That looks so familiar. Removing cosmetics takes the skin's oil. Ooh, moisturizer. He's bringing in the moisturizer. Yes. Free women from the problem of damaging their skin. Lotions and moisturizers don't exist in this world yet. Right, he can make a moisturizer for before cosmetics, after cosmetics. He can make it for the eye, for the face, for the neck, for the body. Was she hiding her face with that mask because her skin is damaged? I am making a face because she looks like an older woman that got a boob job. Mmm. Yo, she looks so different. Actually, hmm. Okay, so her cheeks kind of look saggy. But after she put on makeup, her cheeks didn't look as saggy. Man, she's really playing the trope of the wife hating the illegitimate child. Like, she's playing that hard. Hard. Mm-hmm. Don't let other companies copy you. Protect the secret. Huh. 
Huh. He is also benefiting his own land through this moisturizer. Can't cast me aside. Jeez Louise, this whole manipulation thing. Okay, so this one, I know for sure my memory is right. He came up with the moisturizer idea because in his past life, one of his undercovers or like one of the women that he frequently visited was talking about moisturizing, about how it's so important with makeup and such. And he remembered about that, and that's why he made the moisturizer here. They're really separating his life, like his previous life and this life. They're not even doing flashbacks. I wonder if that was done on purpose. And look, they did a scene for her, making her pretty after she scarred up her whole face. The shop overflows with your kindness. Ah, uh, because they hired Maha's friends. You know what? This is kind of heartwarming. These girls, they thought they would like end up being prostitutes for the rest of their lives. But now they're making a life for themselves without selling their body. Running out of patience soon. What you talking about? Cancel production method, right? Target someone who knows. You. You're targeting you. Mm-hmm. Trying to catch an assassin, the world's finest assassin. We don't think so. Yo, the blood went through. Intruder secured. Oh. Is that supporting her? In the chest area? Humiliate and make him feel powerless. Hi! Ah. Oh! oh. Dang you! Are they taking off his nails? Oh, really? Confess unless you give him hope. Oh, the nail! That nail fell 30 years earlier. Oh, look. We're seeing the goddess's, um... Previous attempts. 
on finding someone to kill the hero. After he died like a fool. Lyrical murdered lyrics murdered people. Hero can be slain by your rhythms. Get out of here. Unless you gave him skills that relate to his music. Yeah, all his uh, shit talking just sounds like insults. <laughs> Your lyrics lay your enemies? Like, seriously? Seriously? That's so lame. Once a month? Once a month he goes somewhere? Where is he going? Oh wait, wait, wait! I don't mem I don't remember this in the manga. <gasps> Dia! Wait! I I didn't think they were going to see each other until way, 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 way later. Wow. He really emits the aura of a noble lady. It kind of reminds me of his mom, just with the way she speaks and her mannerisms. Respect your big sister? Does she family zone him? I thought she would be a love interest. So he comes here once a month. Developing new spells with her. How is he manipulating her? Because he uses like some type of incentive or value with Tarte and Maha. What's hers? How is he hooking her in? Besides knowledge. Giving her power, acknowledging her skills, which she probably doesn't get from anyone else she knows. Yeah. Bedtime. <laughs> Why did they show that scene? That was random. Brought that scene looks. So misleading. 
They smell something. What are you smelling? Under the sheets? Common phenomenon among adolescent males. Wet dreams. He had a wet dream. That's why they show that scene before he went to sleep. Ra! Why are you so flustered? She wants to help him. Be both your sister and your lover? Oh dear. <gasps> Don't let it get too pent up. So, I don't think if that was part of Luke's plan. He didn't have any intention to sleep with Tarte or Maha, and probably with Dia also. So now that it's come to this, what is going to happen? Is he really going to sleep with them? Is he not going to sleep with them? This, I don't know. And, uh, yeah, um, you know, from all these assassin movies and shows we've seen, they're always sleeping with you, right? Trying to do that pillow talk to extract information and whatnot, or seduce that person so they can get access to that location. I mean, it was bound to happen, but this soon? <laughs> but besides that, what did you think about this video? What did you think about this episode? Normally, I say that the other way around. Let me know in the comments below. If you want to talk outside of YouTube, there's a Discord. Link is in the description. I also stream on twitch.tv slash Lehua Outside of YouTube and Twitch, I host podcasts across worlds where we talk about anime, manga, and other things you're interested in. If you like podcasts like that, link to the podcast is in the description. We're available on all platforms. And other than that, my name is Lehua, and this is the Superfina channel reacting to the world's finest assassin, episode 7. Hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Laters!